word arts can help you to add charm into your PowerPoint presentations. And in this video, we are going to talk about word arts that how you can use these uh, word arts and how you can customize these word arts in order to make your PPT more interactive and attractive. So hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Funders Global. This is the 19th video in this MS PowerPoint course. And in this video, we are going to show you how to use word arts in PowerPoint. So let's get into the video without any further ado. So guys, we have selected a blank page here. Let me change the layout. So yeah, I'm into a blank sheet of MS PowerPoint. Now we are going to use word art in order to make our PPT more interactive and more attractive. Although keep in mind that I'm just going to show you the tools which will help you to create an astonishing and interactive PPT. But you have to practice by yourself to make your PPT good and attractive. Otherwise, by just watching this video, you'll be not able to do anything. So you have to practice by yourself. Practice is must. Now, in order to access what arts, you have to go to insert because uh, almost all the options which we can add in our PPT is in insert option only okay now here is the word art option as you can see once you click here you'll be able to see many options as you can see de these are designing options you can say if i click here you can expand this a little bit but almost we have these options okay yeah so these numerous options are enough to make your word art or i mean to make your ppt look amazing let's select one text and let's move this video forward okay let's select this one now let's write marketing fundas mm, it is looking a bit cheesy let me choose another one as well let me add one more let me choose this one again write marketing fundas so as you can see i have written i have chosen two word arts okay the first one is this and the second one is this now in shape format we got many options over here let me show you so the first one is insert shape you can insert shape in these uh, word art options as well let me show you uh, just let me separate a bit now you can select shape like we have tons of option over here let's select this one and you can add like this okay so it is totally up to your creativity that how you are adding or how you are leveraging these options in order to make your ppt look good or amazing right now let's you can do something like this but using these shapes right then we have let's choose one more like this one and you can do like this and then click on fill and click no fill and it will be looking like this okay you can add or increase the side of the borders as well as i have already shown you in the previous video okay you just have to you just have, let me show you once again you just have to right click click on outline option then click on weight and here's the weightage you can choose this one is looking fine now let's explore more options in the shape format so i have shown you the shape options which you can use then we have edit shape if you want to change the design of any shape you can do that as well you just have to select and you can edit the shape as well let me show you let's say you have selected this one okay let me go back to edit shape change shape here's the edit points now you can edit according to your preference as well if you want to customize any shape you can do that as well like this so this is one more good option that helps you to fly your creativity on the top of the sky right then we have after edit shape option we have text box as usual you can add some text as well while using it is not like that if you are using word art you can't use text you can use text as well like this okay then let me remove this one now let me go back to shape format again and this is the same shape styles which you can choose uh, let me select this one and like this you can use these borders these are pre-made borders okay or you can say pre-made template types which you can use like this like this we have some 3d options as well not 3d but yeah some good looking options like this this one okay so we have good 
uh, amount of options over here as you can see this one is also good let's choose this one let's stick to this one now if you are not liking the color you can change the color as well by this option here are the options which you can choose here are some standard colors if you are not liking these if you are not getting the perfect fit you can click on more fill colors and you'll get this honeycomb design uh, color palette you can choose from this or otherwise you can go to custom as well okay tons of options are here you don't have to worry about anything you just have to focus on creativity and on your thinking that how far you can go with your creativity right now after selecting the color you can uh, add some extra things as well like you can add picture as well instead of color you can add picture uh, let me show you click on picture there are two options if you want to select uh, add icon you can do that as well otherwise you can go with the online option or you can go with your local local option right if you have already image in your pc then you can select otherwise go with online option now you have to select let's select design or write abstract yeah this one is looking good select the image and click insert nice it is looking good although the word art which we have chosen is not looking that much good let me uh, change it to this maybe this is okay for now it is okay also it it is also looking a bit cheesy but yeah good to go now after using the uh, picture option you can use some gradient option as well like these but we are uh, sticking with the image otherwise we have some texture as well you can use these as well although i have also chosen like a gradient like this so yeah you got these type of design here okay after using shape fill we have shape outline okay shape outline is also one of the uh, crucial part my design is changed in shape out outline you can select the colors you can do the same option like honeycomb col color palette or custom color it is totally up to you and if you want to increase the weight of the outline you can do that as well it is not showing because i have i'm using image background that's why otherwise it would have shown then we have effects it is also a pretty important option and pretty creative option it gives you many options which you can add into your word art design as you can see some 3d options are pretty good if you use it wisely you can create a fantastic design like this you can use other options like bevel then we have some 3d rotations like this now let me show you once again so that i can properly show you so these are the designs which you can use into your word art with your word art into your ppt okay now adding a perfect design into your word art you can move forward with your designing okay select once again so this was about shape effects i have already shown you about word style now uh, we have few more options over here the first one is text fill you already know about text fill like this you can see this these are the colors so this is uh, the color of the text right then we have text outline this is the outline of the text then we have one more option text effect if you want to add effect into your text you can do that as well this one is also a pretty good option which can make your designing one more le uh, level up like this we have some glowing options as well this will glow the text also it is not showing properly in this word art but it works like great then we have this reflection options then we have the typical shadow options like these okay now after text effect we have all text it is totally for arrangement options if you have multiple content into your ppt you can uh, bring forward or backward your content okay then we have the sizes this is the last option in this uh, shape format op uh, menu so if you want to increase the size of your word art or the background you can do that as well like this as you can see so this is like this let me add fundas s in fundas so it, it will be looking like this so this is all about word art i hope you got the point i hope you understood each and every tool and i hope that you run the horses of your creativity and that's it from my side if you still have any question or query please comment down below i'll answer those questions in the comment section below we'll meet you in the next video till then 
बाय